Hi, it's John here. I'm going to talk about me uh, globe artichokes. It's got round to November the 9th and they've had their season. We haven't had a very hard frost yet and these globe artichokes are still um, still growing. They've got greenery on them. Some of the bottom leaves have died off and uh, I've grown them from seed and this one I'll put some wire on it to try and protect it because I, I go clumping about in my big feet and I tend to tend to tread on them and knock them over and that doesn't do much good. But there's about 20 about here. One there, another one there. So you can see that the, um, the, uh, they, they, they've, they've been big and now they've gone back down again and now they've grown up again. There's quite a big one over there. I don't know whether you can see that. There's quite a big one over there and then a big one there. And these big ones I divided in the spring and there's a lot about here, there's about 20 or so. And what I'm going to be doing with them is I'm going to put a little ring of compost around each of the plants and then some, uh, some of the old um, sticks that are about from the uh, Jerusalem artichoke dead stems to protect them and then I'm going to put some some uh, old hay over the top of them to protect them from the frost because although they will survive the frost uh, mainly they do get knocked by it you can't really guarantee that they will survive an English winter the worst winters are the ones where you don't get it to thaw out during the day so you'll have the night frost that then freezing during the day then another night frost and perhaps another day and this is what really takes their toll so um, I am going to protect them we've had quite a few globe artichokes this summer they came after all the terrible weather generally um, I, I divided some up in the spring and they did well and uh, this is uh, quite good for up here because it's quite heavy clay land up here and um, it doesn't really warrant a lot of digging. Anyway, that's my uh, globe artichokes preparing them for the winter frost protection. Bye!